woke up in a great mood. After all, it was my 16th birthday. I was going to celebrate it at a water park with my parents and my best friend. Hi, I'm Eve. I am so glad I got the chance to tell my unusual story on the Private Diary channel. But before we begin, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I opened my eyes and realized I wasn't in my room. My heart immediately sank. Where am I? My mind went blank when I noticed a cute guy sleeping next to me. And another one in a chair nearby? My scream woke them up. Please don't be scared. Let us explain. Would you have listened to strangers in my place? Yeah, I didn't either. Instead, I started throwing pillows at them in a panic. Sean, she's lost it. Shut up, Lloyd. You know she's just scared. <laughs> Th that's what she gets. Immediately after hitting them, I ran out of the nearest door. I thought it was the way out, but it led to a closet. Dang it, I drove myself into a corner. Meanwhile, the boys were whispering something to each other. Lloyd, we need to find her phone. It would help us explain everything. I'm trying, but your room is a black hole. Look at this mess. That's right, my phone. Mm. I searched my pockets, but I couldn't find it either. And then I peeked through the door crack and saw a younger boy walk into the room. It was probably Sean's brother. Sean, the sheriff's here, and he's asking about Eve. Dude, what are we gonna do? Don't panic. They tensed up, but I breathed a sigh of relief. <laughs> my parents must have called the police. I jumped out of the closet and shouted at the top of my lungs, I'm here, save me, they've kidnapped me. A second later, the police burst into the room and immediately handcuffed Sean and Lloyd. Sir, this is a misunderstanding. We'll talk at the station. Move, and no funny business. Before they drove away, Sean turned around and said, find your phone. There's a video on it that will explain everything. They were taken to the police station and the deputy brought me home to my parents. Oh, Eve, thank goodness you're back. Go to your room. You should get some sleep. I want to figure out how those boys kidnapped me first. I remember falling asleep in my own bed. Eve? Get some sleep first. We'll discuss everything later. Hmm. They were acting suspicious, but I didn't argue, and I went up to my room. However, I kept tossing and turning, and eventually decided to call Nadine and talk about everything that happened. But then, I remembered my phone wasn't there, mm. so I turned on the computer to message my friend. But even then, I was in for a disappointment. Mm. For some reason, the internet wasn't working. I asked mom and dad about it. We know. We've already called a technician. Okay. I want to call Nadine. Can I borrow your phone? It's... Uh, uh, broke. Mine too. I accidentally ran it over with my car. Hmm. I wasn't buying it. My parents were blatantly lying to me. But why? I started to rack my brain. Drawing had always helped me to concentrate, but I couldn't find my notebook anywhere. So I asked mom about it. She disappeared into my parents' bedroom and soon came back with my notebook. I took it and was about to go back to my room when I heard dad snap at mom behind the door. Why would you return her notebook? Relax. I tore out several several pages from it. What the what? I checked and realized several pages were indeed missing. What had been on them? I had to dig in the trash to find out. Found it. I flattened the crumpled pages and saw sketches of some guy. Wait a minute. That was Sean. What was his face doing in my notebook? My head was spinning. So many questions and no answers. I decided to get to the bottom of it. So I snuck out of the house, got on a scooter and rode to Nadine. My friend's mom opened the door and her eyes is bugged out. Eve? It's been so long since you came by. What? I just came to see Nadine yesterday. Oh, of course. She smiled at me sadly and called her daughter. Now, it was my turn to be surprised. After all, Nadine's hairstyle and look had changed in just one night. But that wasn't all. She seemed nervous and it was painfully obvious she wasn't happy to see me. What do you want? I have plans, so be quick. What plans? We agreed to go to the water park today, a week ago. Did you forget about my birthday? I'm so sick of this. What are you talking about? Just go away, okay? I have things to do. She started pushing me towards the door. I noticed that Nadine was missing one earring and I told her about it. I lost the other one. Okay, bye. She slammed the door in my face. I was so confused. I didn't move for a long time. Why was my friend suddenly acting so rude? Something weird was going on and I needed to figure it out. To do that, I had to go back to where it all began, Sean's house. He was now at the police station along with his friend, but his younger brother was still home. Maybe he would know something. I got on my scooter and I 
hurried there. When the boy opened the door, I asked him to tell me everything he knew about what happened the day before. What do I get out of it? I'll give you, um, this lipstick. Ugh, that's for girls. Let me ride your scooter instead. All right, it's a deal. Now tell me, what happened yesterday? Well, our parents left for the weekend, so Sean and his friend decided to throw a party. A lot of people came, including you. Hmm, either I had a doppelganger or the kid was plain wrong. I would have uh... definitely remembered going to a party. Okay, and then what happened? You, Sean, Lloyd, and some other girl went to Sean's room to play truth or dare. I wanted to play with you, but Sean said I was too young. Well, he was right about that. I asked him for permission to go up to Sean's room and look for my phone there again. Dean nodded and rode off on my scooter. I searched every corner of Sean's room, but I couldn't find my phone anywhere. I did find something else, though. It's Nadine's earring. So this is where she lost it, which means she was here yesterday. I knew she was hiding something important from me. I'm going to corner her and get her to spill the truth. Dean was still riding my scooter, so I walked to Nadine's house. Her mom opened the door again and said Nadine was taking a shower. Could I wait for Nadine in her room? Of course, Eve. Do you want some lemonade? That would be great. Thank you. I walked into my friend's room and was left speechless. My phone was lying on her table. I had no idea why Nadine had stolen it. But since it was password protected, I knew she wouldn't have been able to unlock it. I picked it up and my heart sank when I saw the date on the screen. If what I was looking at was right, six months had passed since my birthday. I decided it was probably a glitch. And then Nadine walked into the room. What are you doing here? I came for my phone. Mind explaining yourself? You want answers? Well, you won't remember anything tomorrow anyway, so listen up. She told me mockingly that six months ago, I suffered a head injury. And now, every morning, I woke up thinking it was my 16th birthday. It's a form of amnesia. As soon as you fall asleep, you immediately forget about everything that happened to you during the day. Am I supposed to believe this nonsense? Hmm, I can prove it. Unlock your phone. I'll show you a video that explains everything. She said it with such a sly smile that I immediately tensed up. Now I knew why Nadine had stolen my phone. She wanted to delete an important video on it, but she couldn't figure out my password. No, I'll watch the video without you. Give me your phone now. You, Sean, and Lloyd tricked me. I'm not gonna let your stupid investigation ruin my life. She looked furious and she started to corner me. Jeez, what was I supposed to do? At that moment, Nadine's mom opened the door. I've got your lemonade. Not now, mom. I didn't waste a moment and I dashed outside. Nadine chased after me. Darn it, was she the flash? Why was she so fast? I was about to give up, but then Dean rode up to me on my scooter. Here, I'm done. Oh, I could kiss you, but I've got to hurry. Wow, I'm gonna tell all the guys. A high schooler has a crush on me. Thanks to the scooter, I instantly broke away from the furious Nadine. When I was a kid, I liked to play under a century-old oak tree in a small clearing. That's where I was headed. After sitting down in the oak tree, I took out my phone. I couldn't wait to watch that mysterious video and finally figure out what happened. Imagine my surprise when I realized there were a bunch of videos on my phone. They were all numbered and titled. I turned on the one that said, watch this as soon as you wake up. And you know what? I saw myself. I'm recording this message for myself. After the head injury, I lost my long-term memory. Now, as soon as I fall asleep, I forget everything that happened to me during the day. And every morning, I think it's my birthday. Six months ago, mom and dad, Nadine and I went to a water park. Nadine got bored writing the slides for kids and talked me into trying the most extreme one. But as soon as I got up there, I got scared and changed my mind. However, when I tried to go back down, someone pushed me in the back. I rolled down and I hit my head. Ever since then, I've had amnesia. Of course, I don't actually remember any of that, but that's what mom and dad told me. They don't want me to know the truth about my condition. That's why every morning they pretend it's my birthday. But now I know the truth. I'm recording this video so I can watch it tomorrow and remember everything. The doctors don't know when my long-term memory will come back, but until that happens, I'll record a video every night and tell myself about everything that happens. Like a secret diary. I don't want to be stuck and reliving the same day forever. The shock I felt <gasps> is so hard to describe. So I watched these videos every morning 
trying to understand what was going on. Now it was clear why Nadine's appearance had changed so much and why her mom said she hadn't seen me in a while. It had been six months. I quickly turned on the next video and the one after that and soon, Sean appeared in one of them. This is my boyfriend. He was at the water park the day I was injured and he pulled me out of the water when I lost consciousness. He visited me in the hospital every day. I wish I could remember that. Sean is so very sweet but against our relationship because they think I can't have a normal life until I fully recover. Hey, Sean, say hi to me. <laughs> hi, Eve. I love you like crazy. We'll get through this together. I felt myself blush. So Sean was my boyfriend? Jeez, this was crazy. I found a lot mm -hmm. of photos from our dates on my phone. There were also videos filmed in the evenings. In them, I was drawing Sean in my notebook. When I turned on the next video, I saw my boyfriend introducing me to his best friend, Lloyd. Wow, I just found out something that blew my mind. It turns out Lloyd was at the water park that day too. He saw Nadine push me off the slide. Eve, don't trust her. She didn't even visit you in the hospital. Nadine only ever shows up to borrow something from you because you won't remember it anyway. Today, I found out the truth about my friend. It might sound weird, but I'm not mad at her at all. It was an accident, but still, I wish she'd apologize. By the way, Sean, Lloyd, and I figured out how to get Nadine to confess. We'll invite her to a party and ask her to play truth or dare with us. See you soon! Hmm. The pieces of the puzzle were slowly coming together, but the beginning of the next video made me worried. In it, mm -hmm. I was obviously in a hurry, and in the background, my parents were arguing with Sean. Sean Sean came to pick me up for the party, but mom and dad are trying to chase him away. Our daughter is sick. Don't play with her feelings. She won't even remember you tomorrow. Get out of here and don't come back. No, I'm not giving up on Eve. One day, her memory will come back. And until it does, I'll help her remember everything day after day. They won't change their minds. We need to run. Next, I filmed the party at Sean's house. The four of us were playing truth or dare in Sean's room. Can I play with you too? No, you're too young. So, Nadine, you chose the truth. Tell us, did you push Nadine off the slide that day? What? Of course not. Don't lie, I saw everything. Oh, whatever. Yes, I pushed Eve. She's such a scaredy cat. So what? So forget about this tomorrow. Surprise, I filmed everything. Tomorrow, I'll watch this video and remember everything. What? You bastards, you tricked me. The video ended there. Nadine must have stolen <sighs> my phone when the party ended and we fell asleep. Now that I knew everything, I wanted to say something to my former friend. Were you afraid I'd show the video to the police and they'd punish you? Yes. I didn't want one mistake to ruin my life. All I wanted was for you to say you're sorry. But apparently, our friendship meant nothing to you. Goodbye. I hung up, and I thought about Sean and Lloyd. They were probably still at the police station. I was about to go there, but then... Oh, we knew we'd find you here. Eve, don't run away from us. We can talk later. Let's go to the police station. I need to tell the cops that Sean and Lloyd are innocent. Okay, but drink some hot cocoa first. You've had a hard day. I took the thermos and poured the cocoa into the grass. There were sleeping pills mixed in there, weren't there? Did you want me to fall asleep and forget everything? in the morning? Honey, it hurts to see you getting upset when you have to find out the truth every single day. You can't keep lying to me. Even if I am sick, I still have the right to live a full life. My parents sighed but agreed it was fair. We finally came to an understanding. After that, we came to the police station and explained everything to the sheriff. He let the boys go. Mom and dad let me leave with Sean. We met the sunset at the embankment. It was a crazy day. I'm exhausted. Before you fall asleep, record a video for tomorrow. Uh, you're right. I told the camera about everything that happened and then fell asleep with my head on Sean's shoulder. I woke up in a great mood. After all, it was my 16th birthday. Then I looked around and realized I was on the embankment. What the <gasps> heck? What am I doing here? Don't be scared. Watch the video on your phone. It explains everything. A stranger <laughs> was sitting next to me and smiling warmly. I wasn't afraid at all. For some reason, his face seemed painfully familiar. Shh. Shin, no, uh, Sean. Is your name Sean? Eve, I think your memory's coming back. I watched all the videos and realized what he was talking about. The doctors are feeling optimistic about my recovery. Maybe I'll get better soon. In the meantime, my video diary will help me. I'm ready to fall in love with Sean over and over again, day after day. What would we do without our phones? Am I right? <laughs>